I'm going to show you how to add a project parameter to your project sheet border. I recently had a client here at ATG that was wanting to add a project manager name to their sheet borders. They wanted to be able to type the project manager name on the sheet as a parameter. The process is simple, but the key is understanding the differences between project parameters and shared parameters. Project parameters are containers for information you define and then add to multiple categories of elements in a project. Project parameters are specific to the project and cannot be shared with other projects. You can then use those project parameters in multi-category or single category schedules. You can create custom parameters for a project and for any element or component category in the project. Parameters that you create display in the Properties palette or Type Properties dialog under the group you define and with the values you define. Project parameter data can either be by type or instance. If an element with this type parameter is part of multiple groups, the parameter value will be the same for corresponding elements in all group instances. If the element with this instance parameter is part of multiple groups, the parameter value can vary for corresponding elements in group instances. Shared parameters are parameter definitions that can be used in multiple families or projects. Shared parameters are definitions of parameters that you can add to families or projects. Shared parameter definitions are stored in a file independent of any family file or Revit project. This allows you to access the file from different families or projects. The shared parameter is a definition of a container for information that can be used in multiple families or projects. The information defined in one family or project using the shared parameter is not automatically applied to another family or project using the same shared parameter. In order for information in a parameter to be used in a tag, it must be a shared parameter. Shared parameters are also useful when you want to create a schedule that displays various family categories. Without a shared parameter, you cannot do this. If you create a shared parameter and add it to the desired family categories, you can then create a schedule with these categories. This is called creating a multi-category schedule in Revit. An annotation label is a text placeholder added to tags or title blocks. You create a label as part of a tag or title block family while in the family editor. When you place the tag or title block in the project, you place substitution text for the label and the text appears as part of the family. All right, so let's go ahead. I've, I've got Revit open and sheet border. First thing we're gonna do is uh, create our uh, text for our project manager. And uh, right now it's just set at the default. Let's go ahead and uh, make this a size that we can put on the sheet, 332nd. Place that where we want. Then the next thing we need to do is create a label. Uh, but before we can create a label, we need to actually create our uh, shared parameter. So under manage shared parameters, uh, create a shared parameter file if you don't already have one created for your firm. Uh, share parameters tech video. That's fine. Hit yes. Let's create a new group and we're going to place it under sheet and create a new parameter. And I'm going to call it project manager change it to text and hit OK and hit OK. And now with that being a shared parameter in our border, when I hit label and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this label as well, create a 332nd label, not bold with a 332nd font and click for my label. 
you can scroll down you can see that we don't have a project manager we have a PFI but not a project manager itself the one we just created so we need to hit new share parameters select the parameter we just created shows us those that that uh, parameter can add that to our label and now we have a project manager label created and placed on our sheet border clean that up a little bit now I'm going to load this into my project and create a new sheet And if you scroll in, you can see our project manager parameter, but we can't modify uh, we can't modify that parameter, and that's because we haven't loaded the shared parameter into this project. So to do that, manage shared parameters. Uh, we've got it there, but we need to load it into our project parameter parameters. So under manage project parameters add um, shared parameter select there's our parameter we select instance so it shows up on our sheet we need to select our category so scroll down and have sheet and that way it will show up on our uh, sheet parameters within our project and now we can add that information So now that is on our sheet parameter in our project. It can be modified. You can also, uh, if you so choose, you can have it uh, right now it's under text. Uh, so we can shift that around if we need to change that to graphics. Um, specifically where we want that to show up, uh, that's definitely something that we can modify under project parameters, maybe under other or general or even identity data, you know, whatever uh, category you want to group that under for your sheets. And it's that easy. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.